Well, so dissociative amnesia is, wow, it's real. <laughs> um, and I can totally see why the cult in that used it to perfect, to perfect mind control techniques. Jeez, I even feel like I'm going funny now. Father, she had a cut on air here. I had a thank you, Father God. Father, I just bless this conversation. I ask you to send out warring angels on my behalf and to remove anything that's coming against me. Uh, I'm doing this video and coming against my mind. Ah, uh, yeah, she had a cut on air here. I break and cut any unholy soul body spirit ties with anyone um, recently that I've prayed with for and. Um, being cursed by uh, and I plead the blood of Yeshua over all of those soul ties now uh, thank you God for your fire your holy fire and your holy water and we just bless this time um, just so yeah dissociation oh my gosh it's so real um, I like finding that diary last night and I found another one and I thought it was like you know like a lot of them are stuff where I've figured out all of this stuff and then I stopped writing because it was so scary um uh, I see why I stopped writing and my head goes funny when I start reading it so these triggers there I don't dissociate out I still I'm here present in the now so I don't go to that childlike place so God's healed that dissociation and I don't cry, but I think that's, I don't know, I don't know what that is, um, grace maybe, I got grace in my head, um, but that's, yeah, what I wanted to say, um, it's actually good doing these things, like I have a blog, um, and I've had it now for five years. There was a huge, huge, huge big break in between it. But it's of my wake up. And then I've got emails that are in my wake up. And then I've got um, Facebook, which is my wake up. And I've got all these avenues to go back and look at memories that I don't remember that I remembered. Um, because dissociative amnesia is so real. Like, they get you to want to do things. They trigger you to do things. And you don't even know that you're going to do them or you want to do them. And then you start wanting to do them or like, yeah, um, going to rituals or suicide programming or things like that. And then you're like, well, where did this come from? And it's because of certain dates or certain programming that's been triggered by somebody or something. Um, lots of movies are triggers, man. That's, yeah, so I don't watch TV, I don't watch movies, I don't watch anything. Over the years, my friends have got quite a bit paid off with me because I don't watch anything. Um, but I think it's to do with programming that was put in place, so I can't watch it or listen um, to stuff. So everything, like most of what everything that I say is organic. It's my knowledge, my experiences. It's... Um, like, you know, I was saying about Cursa Jensen for so long. And, um, yeah, some people don't want me to mention her. But God led to me one, two, three other people that remember meeting Cursa and us after she was abducted. So those three people, you know, they're not made up. They're real. They came, well, I one was online. Um, he's got his own blog, Justin Davis. <laughs> That's the first confirmation I got. And then another lady was one on Facebook and I don't remember her name. And I'll bug it if I... I should remember it. Sorry, God, for saying that word. But anyway. Um, uh, she, yeah, I didn't remember it. And um, she said that she met her after she was abducted too. But she had no memory, really, of um, any abuse or whatsoever. Um and then recently uh, a sister in Christ met um, a prostitute and um, the prostitute told her about being raised um, or being handed out and around in a satanic cult and um, she was from up the North Island 
uh, where this happened. And um, apparently she met Cursor after she was abducted too. So, you know, there's not just me. Um, and, you know, going to the police here, yeah, right, whatever. It was all covered up in the first place, so it's going to be covered up again. And Justin has letters from the Prime Minister telling him that it's not going to be opened because of da-da-da-da-da, you know, whatever stupid-ass reasons they've got. So there's no point in going to the police with that. Yeah, right. Um, anyway, there was police involved in my shutting up, shutting me up. In 2016, on the 6th of the 6th, 16, I was abducted. My dream, or my so-called dream that was actually reality, but because I was drugged, felt like a dream. Um, I was dumped in the boot of a police car and taken up all the way to um, Christchurch and the Hillmorton Programming Centre. So, yeah. Mm, yeah, like I'm really going to go to the friggin' pigs over this. Um, the only vindicator is going to be when Christ comes, when he returns. So I'm not out to go and get justice. I have contacted Trump. I have contacted the ITNJ and then I found out recently that there's some dodgy goings on. So I'm not going to bother in any of those avenues because it's all of the world and I am not of the world and neither is my father and we are going to do this his way. So he doesn't say contact the authorities um, so I won't and if he did I would. So yeah that's it. Um. Because I also don't have other, well, other than multiple personality disorder and all these parts, um, and then brandings and then constellation freckles and stuff like that, I don't have any actual evidence as such. Because when you're a child being tortured and mind controlled and ritually abused and whatever else, you just think it's normal. Actually, I do have evidence. I've got a book written about my life. Although what they wanted for me. Huh. Yeah, and there's my file. Donald's got my file. Mr. Trump. Um, anyway. Um, I don't care about that. Um. The evidence I have is from God. Uh, he always confirms things. He always confirms things, even as hard as it is. You'll go to prayer group or whatever, and then someone will say stuff, and it's like, <gasps> and they've got no idea it's to do with breaking programming, and so I just take it home, and I just think, yeah, and I pray, and then God does it for me. But um, <clears throat> one guy, um, he did get the word handler, and that was um, when I'm, I was supposed to uh, sacrifice Robbie and all of that stuff in 2017 when that false sign was in the sky. They wanted to resurrect Osiris or bring through the Antichrist, bring through Lucifer to be the Antichrist. There was plans to do that, but um, um, yeah, I was saved from that because God gave this man a word called Hanlon. He researched it. He didn't know how to bring that up to me. But I ended up at prayer group, which I didn't normally go to at this one. And um, he said, look, I've had a word and um, I just want to tell you. And I was like, oh, yeah, I know. That's my husband. <laughs> He's like, what? Your husband's your handler. I'm like, yeah, well, I'm pretty sure his demons are anyway. They know my triggers. They come out all the time. They always come at me um, on ritual dates. They always want me to do things for them on ritual dates and around, like, sacrifice like stuff in the atmosphere and right right around yeah and he was like oh wow and so he broke that off of me cut that off he broke that assignment over me and um he seen thousands of babies being released over me and i knew that that was in the spirit and that was like birthing out babies from the bloodline that are going to be saved out of the caves of darkness and um that thousands will be deprogrammed and um um, uh, I'm going from flesh to spirit. I was talking about dissociation, so 
suppose that was fleshly. Um, and anyway, what else is of prophecy that's amazing that's going to happen? Um, oh yeah, he's seen all these babies being released over me, and um, I had had a prophetic word that um, uh, that um, I was pregnant and that I was going to give birth to thousands of babies, and I didn't know what that means, but I found a book. My husband had had a book for like twenty something years. Um, that it says that in the end days there'll be women that come and they'll give birth and they will have thousands. So a thousand will come and have a thousand. So that's like, like what, a million? I don't know. Anyway, I'm not good at my times tables. I can't multiply in the, in the mathematical sense. <laughs> that's funny. I always, I thought that was funny. When I first found out about my multiple personalities, I was like, that's why I can't multiply. <laughs> They never let me learn to do maths. They didn't want me to have. They didn't want me to have a maths. Well, they wanted me to have a numbers brain, not a maths brain. Especially not a multiplication one. I don't know. Maybe I'm just not good at maths. I'm really bummed about my spelling. I was a really good speller, or a part was a really good speller, really really good speller. You know, like but now. It's like that part's obviously um, not here with me much anymore and I've lost some of my abilities to do things. So God is teaching me to do things new. Um, sometimes you forget how to drive. Sometimes you forget how to cook. Sometimes you forget what time of day it is. You don't know where, what year it is. Um, uh, yeah, yeah. So I, I have to have an alarm to, you know, like, to pick up the kids because sometimes like I used to be in a dissociative state or uh you know not here as a parent at all I was like a child stuck in trauma and I'd be having a panic attack or a meltdown and like the alarm would go and be like <gasps> okay who's gonna go pick up the kids and then another part will go all right I will and then they'll come out and then it'll be like calm down it's okay we're going and then like whatever I was going through would be forgotten but I did write some things down. That's why I was talking about my journal. So yeah, dissociative amnesia totally makes you forget hard out. And I think that's why they use them for, use us for assassins and sleeper soldiers. And because there'd be heaps, there could be heaps of them out there. I don't know. Maybe heaps of them are suicided. I don't know. We'd have to take that to prayer and God. Like, how many have actually survived this life? This life is not easy. That's for sure. Um, have half even survived, Father? Yeah, they do. I know, and that's what he keeps getting. He keeps telling me, there are two armies. There are two armies. How do you think Satan's going to have an army, people, if he killed us all? He didn't kill us all. Some of us have a programmed end dates, and a lot of us are programmed for end times. We have Delta Assassin programming. We have um, Theta programming to access the spiritual realms. We have, um, what's it, Alpha, Beta, Delta, Gamma, Theta, Omega, Omega. We have Omega programming as well. Anyway, this video is getting too long. I wanted it to be like five minutes. Um, and about dissociation and amnesia. <laughs> Clearly, I, I go through it. Um, yeah, because you can switch like multiple times a day. Some parts will know each other, some parts won't, alters, I mean by parts, you know, um, but healing is faster today than ever before, because of God, because of Father Yah, Father, and, and his sacrifice to his son that he sent for us, the one who is with us everywhere that we go, everywhere that we go, he didn't just die for our sins, he died so that he could be with us everywhere we go, like seriously, that's such a big revelation for me. That's now why I can just, I just like, I'm like, I love you, Yeshua. I love you. I love you, Father. I thank you for your son. I thank you for your son. I thank you for your son. Yesterday, as I was walking down the road with the kids from school, I was just walking and I was just like, 
thank you thank you father that all of heaven goes before me and yeshua is by my side thank you father that all of heaven goes before me and yeshua is at my side and boom all of the trees started going you know like all the leaves and everything and it was like oh <laughs> and the trees across the road weren't and the trees down the road weren't in front and it was as i was walking that they were all going and jostling <laughs> so i was like oh yeah heaven is definitely going before me thank you father thank you father thank you so and that's why i oh, yeah, break dissociation at every brainwave level Ooh, wow that how it helped anyway prayers up gotta go uh didn't want this to be a long video I just wanted to actually talk about dissociative amnesia. And clearly you can understand that obviously it works. Or it's working. It works to the cult's advantage. Because you don't forget. And then you, when you remember you think you're absolutely crazy. Like what I wrote on my book. Like I now will have to process over the next couple of days. Because they're memories that I don't remember remembering. If that makes sense. Um, even though I remembered them over the last couple of years. I've still been splitting off those memories. Because they're too traumatic. They're too too hard to take. Like the memories of the fire. Like I was saying about the fire. Or my parts were telling my counsellor about the fire. You know and that. But I didn't remember. And then. Because the core of me was stuck inside away from it all because it couldn't handle anything other parts didn't believe that that happened and so the only way that it could be confirmed was through father and and his words of knowledge through other people when they would pray and so it was very timely how he would bring up a memory and then he would send me out and go to a different prayer group somewhere or where or yeah and the the, uh, there would be a person that would bring a word or something that was to do with my programming and it would be like wow or, or a confirmation of a memory it wasn't easy not at all even with Jesus it's hard but faith makes things possible not um not easy um yeah and so like He's had to show me a few times and now even it's being confirmed by the pastor or by people, multiple people. And I know there are amazing stories in the Bible. There are amazing stories to pick out, to 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 to, to read, but um I don't think it's just coincidence that there's like my online prophetic ministries that I listen to and in, in my pastor and in other in our churches where I go or people that pray with me, you know, that they say about the fire story and how the three were saved in the fire, you know, or about Abraham being sacrificed. Like God told me I had to have faith for Abraham. I had to have faith for Abigail as well. And then he sent that baby of promise, um, Abigail faith. And he told me I had to have fierce faith. And... Um, you know, so, yeah, it's the only thing that gets me through, it's the only thing that could have, that, that I have been able to survive, the, the reason, I've, the only reason I've been able to survive, I don't know how other people do it without Father God, without, without Yeshua, without the blood, without prayer, without anything, I don't know how they do it without Him, um, I can't, I, yeah, my life before, it was it was just like this every day but with with father like I can have good moments I can have really good moments too because he's given me an anointing of joy that just fills me up and then when I think about it it comes back so it's like a re-anointing it's funny it's kind of cool and so I just need to think of those times of my of my real joy that I've had and it'll come back it's kind of cool um, God taught me to pray to break the dissociation at every brainwave level so if you have parts up or dissociation that you um, would like healed um, 
God will heal you. And I used to, he told me to pray to break the dissociation at every brainwave level because they programmed us at different brainwave levels. So those parts are on all different brainwave levels. So when they come up out of the system, then they're coming from a different brainwave and that's the brainwave you're dissociating to. And so he would help me and he would remind me, even if it was a couple of days later, he would remind me to break dissociation on every brainwave level. So I just pray now, Father God, to stand in the gap and I break dissociation over all the parts of people at every brainwave level. Alpha, Beta, Delta, Gamma, Theta, Omega, Epsilon, Phi, Zeta, and Rho. And we break that over the types, the copies, the multipliers, the duos, the replicators, and every other part of the system. We break that dissociation now in the name of Yeshua HaMashiach, our Messiah, the one who came to sacrifice himself for all time. No other sacrifice needed. Hallelujah. Amen. Have a good day.